Recently, the advanced 3D sculpture class worked on a piece of art that was installed at the Attleboro Art Museum. Junior Noella Bruzzi says the process has been a real life experience. We're using um, trash bags, um, wires, tissue paper, and something called, it's like a canvas. And the piece wasn't just random. As part of the contest, it had to follow a theme. This year's theme was architectural icons. Junior Lily Cronin explains the class's design. Making St. Basil's Cathedral, it's inspired by it, but it can't look exactly like it. So we just like to grow and spin on it. Designing their piece in class took a lot of organization. And with the size being large, they decided to split up the work. Yeah, it was divided into three like groups. And like one was like, we have like three different columns. And so one column was one group, and then the other group, and then the other group. Art teacher Elizabeth Mullaney says it's a great opportunity to be a part of the 21-year-old program known as High Arts. More than 10 schools from around the state of Massachusetts participated. This is the first year we've been invited, so we're super excited to be able to have this opportunity. And Mullaney says that the contest itself is judged by area professionals who visit the exhibit. There's a juror that comes in. This year the juror is a local architect and engineer in Attleboro, and he'll be going around and judging the work. There's a best in show. There is a viewer choice award, which the students can win a cash prize of $100. And while students did leave with an award for their piece, they also left with some real world skills and experience. Yeah, it's been pretty fun. Um, we all have to work together and like, I don't know some of the people in the class. So it was like fun to know them and work with different people. Uh, they get to work together as a team, so it's problem solving, it's their communication skills, um, their ability to compromise, um, and also to advocate for ideas they're not willing to compromise on. The Norwood High School Library will have all of the student work from this year's High Arts Contest on display throughout the summer. So if you have the chance, it's sure worth checking out. Reporting for Mustang Magazine, I'm Ryan Crowley.